Professionals are describing it as once in every thousand years kind of event. As the network's Alexa Bells reports, schools are once again closed in Broward and the airports just reopened minutes ago. Flood warnings in effect in Broward County until 8 a.m. today. South Florida's historic flooding Wednesday left cars stranded and some people unable to get to work. So I've been watching the cars thinking I could make it, but I've had the car stall in water before, and so I'm just like, I'll just hang out. <laughs> I've only lived in Florida for a couple years, so this is completely shocking to me. <laughs> Never have I seen anything like this. Never. I've I've been working in Fort Lauderdale for over 23 years and I've never seen anything like this. We ran hundreds, hundreds of water rescues uh, in Broward County. We did have some uh, people that were trapped in their homes, water that was rising, uh, people that were in need of medical rescue in homes where there was flooding. And, you know, those are the people that we're really concerned about. All right, I'm going to go back and get your mommy and daddy, all right, bud? Flooding also a major concern in Miami-Dade County. At FIU's Biscayne Bay campus, this law is completely submerged, so crews have set up some water drain pumps to clear the area. The National Weather Service says Miami-Dade County had 13.5 inches of rain and more than 25 inches in just 24 hours in Broward County, making it the rainiest day in Fort Lauderdale history. Residents waking up this morning to the damages after spending the night trapped in their homes. It's really hard to leave all your stuff, bro. You know, all, my whole life's possessions is in that house. It's all underwater. At Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, a total ground stop Wednesday, then closure. Stranded travelers trying to figure out their next moves after runways turned into lakes, cars and airplanes immobile. The airport reopened at 9 a.m. today after being closed since Wednesday. Broward County Public Schools also to remain closed. The National Weather Service is calling the floods a 1 in 1,000 year event or greater. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Alexa Velez.